Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy, and I'm standing out here on this almost rainy, semi-cold day in front of one of my favorite cars when it comes to new cars, and that's the new Mustang. This is a 2016, um, and uh, I wanted to just do a quick little rant about something that those of you who are not hip to what's going on with the latter-day muscle car slash pony cars may not be aware of. Um, so let me hip you to that, and that is that while these cars, this class of car, which includes the Camaro and also the Challenger, uh, historically were famous for their big brawny V8s, uh, which they still offer, uh, the Mustang and the Camaro now offer a mid-level uh, performance engine upgrade that is a four-cylinder engine. Uh, in this case, it's a 2.3-liter engine, turbocharged, and what's really sick, crazy, and in a very good way is that the little four-cylinder engine makes 315 SAE net horsepower, which is just incredible. Um, back in the day, back in 1995, when I was just starting out as an automotive journalist, uh, Ford gave me the um, 95 SVT uh, Cobra R to drive around for a week. And those of you who don't know about that car, that was a competition-only car that they sold to people with SCCA road racing licenses. And it had the uh, last of the 351s, 351 5.8 liter V8s that Ford put into a Mustang from the factory. Anyway, that car had 300 horsepower out of 5.8 liters. This thing has 315 horsepower out of 2.3 liters. And to kind of throw out another frame of reference, uh, it's got significantly more power than my poor old muscle car that's in the garage there, um, which is hiding from shame. It has a 455 cubic inch V8. That's 7.4 liters in modern terms. Um, so I'm very, very impressed by it. Um, the only thing about it that kind of sucks is that it really doesn't sound as good as it ought to. And one thing that I will fault Ford for, um, it's not the exhaust note so much, it's that you don't have a turbo whistle. And if I had been the engineer in charge of this deal, I would have really played up the fact that it's got a turbo. I would have made sure that you got turbo whistle and that you got wastegate snap, and I would have had a prominent boost gauge put on the inside of the car. That's about the only thing that I can fault this car for. Uh, you want some numbers? This thing will do 0 to 60 in the mid-fives. Um, it'll do the quarter mile in the mid-high 13s. And for frame of reference, that is performance that's superior to probably 80% of all the classic era muscle cars with V8s. Uh, and even the ones that were quicker weren't much quicker. And of course, the ones that were quicker were pretty much not wife drivable, not street drivable. They had big lopy cams, didn't pull a lot of vacuum. They tended to overheat, and they were a real beast to drive. I love them, but they were a beast to drive. This thing isn't. Anyway, um, I will have the review up on the site shortly. Uh, this morning I posted something about the latest in the Volkswagen debacle. Uh, it really looks bad for them, apparently. Uh, they're not even going to be able to pay dividends to shareholders this year because of the fines uh, that are being uh, ladled onto them from all the various uncles, as we say at epautos.com. So anyway, more to come about that and more to come about this gorgeous Mustang. Um, thanks for viewing, and we will catch you on the